more green. Oh, I did not. So they've been married 22 years. Hilarious people. I hope T-Dubs and I are like them. And uh, he said, four tequila shots, we're doing this. And she said, well, I've had five. So, But appreciate you, man. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you. All right, we got a little situation going on here. A couple of police officers. Esther. All right. No worries. There you are. What are you doing? No worries. Oh. All right. You good? Yeah. Okay. So, well, I don't know where my key went. Oh, you, oh, you can't find a key to your car? It's not even in the car, but I came back from work and the car was open. Oh. Somebody and like so, broke into it? I don't know. Oh. But I did lost my key, but I have, I told them I locked it 100% and they don't trust me. Oh. So what am I going to do? What are you going to do? Okay. Which car is it? Dude? Uh, the Prius. Prius? It just, I don't know. And it I'm just, like, all right. No key nowhere. I just won't start or nothing. Yeah, it's just weird because usually when I've lost it, not so far, it would just say key not detected in vehicle. Yeah, but it doesn't even say that? No, it just hmm. said you have to reset. Reset. Weird. Okay, well. Yeah, and come the back only place I've been is Starbucks. Oh, really close, so. well, whatever. At least your team won today. Okay, guys, that was Esther. She lost her keys, but she uh, needed an Uber to get home. But she has a YouTube channel. It's right here on the right. Check her out. I told her we YouTube, and she said, I need some pointers. But this place right here is the pump house. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure it's the uh, fake ID spot, but hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Furman partying tonight. Well, they should be. They enjoy that win, and they got San Diego State next, uh, I think it's next week, in Orlando. So, best of luck to them. Let's get back to working. So, we picked up a couple of other Furman <laughs> celebratory students, uh, sophomores. And I've never been to these dorms right here, but uh, they've got a great view of this pond right here. Or, like, it's, it's like a whatever walking pond. It's pretty big, though. It goes all the way over there, all the way down there. But, a little clock tower. And it is purple tonight. All right, good job, purple paladins. Let's see what we got for another ride. Oh, that one's already taken. All right, got about an hour left. We're gonna call it quits for tonight. Start again tomorrow. What'd you? So Can what I happened? Hundred, please. I, yes. I was just scratching with the coin. I got two hundred dollars. You saw a scratch off. You got yeah. two hundred bucks. Yeah. I scratch offs, and I gave them more. Go figure. Lucky money. cash. I lucky. Want nothing. Uh, I want five dollars. Oh, he's on attack mode. He's been attacking me all morning. Oh, there is. Yes. Did you win anything, Case? Huh? Did you win any? I got five dollars. Five bucks? That's still better than nothing, man. Yeah. Yes, baby. You can drive your ground and now it's going up in the sky and I'll put it in a window. Oh, you're a drone flyer? Um, yeah. Okay. You can take it up. Wait. No, no touch the fan in the sky. It's going to hit it. Okay. Now it's not touch the ground. Oh, okay. It's going to break this. All right. Well, guys, that was Esther last night. She has a little YouTube channel right here on the left. Um, check her out if you want. She does a lot of gaming. But also pray for her that she finds her keys because she had the police called on her by AAA. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> She's like, I don't know why they called the police on her. Like, I don't know, but... Uh, yeah. Well, good morning. It's raining today. First day of spring break. Yeah. And Dad's gonna get back, get back at Uber. Days do we have? You have, I think, that's eight. seven, eight days. No. Let's see. Let's yeah. You don't have to go back till not this next Monday, but the Monday after. Oh, that's like ten days. Can, yes. we, can we go? Can we go to um, <laughs> custards? Custards. Yeah, we can. Yeah, you right now. We can go to Custard's uh, when it's warm outside again, but I bought a couple of just random exhaust hangers, if you know what that is. Uh, it has different like distances you can hold your exhaust to your uh, unibody or your frame of your car. Bought these because um, the whips I have, the new LED one and the CB one, are smacking each other. <laughs> They're hitting each other, so one of them is kind of losing the... Um, the lights are changing colors on the top. <laughs> so I'm going to cut out this. And use these to keep them separated. Yeah, that'll go on Dad's big truck. 
But that's the best option I could think of. I was going to get some like hose separators, but I was like, why not use exhaust hangers? Because this is about the diameter of the CB one. I might have to drill it out a little bit. And then I'll cut out that and then it'll keep them from hitting each other all the time. Good idea, right? All right. How's your pancakes? Oh, yeah. Door? You missed your mouth completely. Yum? Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. All right, back to Uber. Maybe that'll be one day. Oh, I know it's raining, Lucy. It's raining, Lucy. <laughs> Love you, dude. Love you. Be good for mom. Help her with your crazy brothers. And we're going to get back to Uber. And I'm going to sneak out the front way because uh, the kids are cleaning the motorcycle. I told them they can use the uh, cleaner. And so I got them distracted so I can leave because otherwise they'd be in an uproar. But you guys are pretty right on with these uh, Uber numbers. Let's check them out. Okay, so, yeah, you guys are pretty right on. I'm trying to go for the uh, 2K mark, net, not uh, gross. So after fuel, we have $168 in fuel. Got a little bit of surge going on up here and there. Um, and through four days, we are at 1361. That's, that actually went up from last night, so I must have got some tips overnight. I've been pretty consistent across the board with every day, so I'm going to try and go the, do the same today, maybe get 400. I think last night was... Uh, three something yeah 388 so that's not bad 388 329 341 and 302 so that's not bad uh, 160 or what did i say 168 in fuel and we've been on the clock 51 hours so that's not actually driving hours that's like if i'm sitting at a gas station just twiddling my thumbs with the app open uh and on it's that's time so it's uh not working time, actual working time. I wish they kept track of like your actual driving time with the customer or driving to the customer, but they don't, so it's all good. We'll see what that ends up being, but we're trying to go all seven days. Today is Friday, it is rainy day, it is 50 degrees, and uh, let's go pick up our first ride, but first we need a little more fuel. And while we had to get fuel, let's check out loads for today. Um, oh, we already got an XL ride popping up down here. 12 bucks, but it's a little bit far up there. Actually, we can take that because it goes right by um, the fuel. We need to get fuel at uh, oh, off Woodruff, and that's right where it's at. So we'll take it. Okay, but yeah, let's check out the loads for today on Truck Smarter. Um, I looked at them last night, and unless they've loaded a bunch to, so far, there has not been many. And it is uh, 10, 15 in the morning, so the broker should be going on this Friday. Let's see what happens. Let's check them out. So let's check out those loads. Truck Smarter right there, free app, down in the invite code below. Uh, download on the App Store, Android or, or Apple. Okay, Simpsonville to Simpsonville. Which broker is that? Um, oh, thanks for shining up. Signing signing up, geez, talk. R R RL Solutions, okay. Haven't worked with them, maybe get set with them. Maybe at least reach out and see what that load's about, what they're trying to move it for. <clears throat> okay, what else we got? Uh, past Charlotte, 491. That's if you wanted to get to Charlotte, that might be okay. Um, for like 800, but we'll see if they're even gonna respond on that one from Convoy. Okay, a couple of RXOs up to Tennessee, New York for 1500. My goodness, Beach Island for 350. Come on, I used to get that for a thousand. Do do do. Two drops for eight ninety all the way over to Alabama. Uh, let's see what this one. Taylor's down to or up. How much weight is on that though? Because it's going up the mountain. See that that track they give you. You're never going to take that route. You're going to take the twenty six, which is a big grade. Oh yeah, forty two thousand pounds. Okay. And even for that price, you'd have to double that almost or more. So be careful of that when you're going to the mountains. How much weight you're going to be pulling through? Trucks are made for, but it sure as heck wears out your engine a lot more, a lot quicker. There's looks like the um, solar panel load, but different broker. That's why I like Truck Smarter because you're always getting new brokers and they're all vetted, which means you don't have to worry about factoring. They are factorable, so they uh, they don't have to worry about check marks or if you can factor or when you're going to get paid. They're they're going to pay you, and you can get paid the same day instantly if you're factored with Truck Smarter. So check out their two percent factoring across the board, which is awesome. Hendersonville all the way down, 1600 Ooh, got to get more than that. All right. 
there was an AMX load too from Spartanburg going to uh, Winter Haven, and they actually emailed me. This is this. I'm recording this later in the day, so I've already seen this. <laughs> uh, but they they uh, emailed me about it. Said, "Hey, would you move that for us?" And I said, "I can. I have a drive in." Yeah. They said, uh, "What would you do?" I said, "Twenty four fifty." And they said, "Eighteen." So at least they came up with eighteen from thirteen fifty, but that's still a little bit light on the uh, on the rate. So, all right, we're getting a little higher in the deadhead now so it looks like it's going to be another uber day so let's get it done and keep looking so i text texted my uh ride and said hey i'm gonna go stop and get fuel they said no problem we're waiting to get our bags together anyway so it looks like the person in front of him is almost done and we will uh pull up then but yeah it's nice that they're letting me uh get some fuel because we need it but it is a madhouse <laughs> everybody's here good old sam's club Okay, we just stopped, and 289, not bad. But still, that loves on the way back from Columbia was 279. All right, we had to do the reach around. Let's put it back, and let's go pick up Turk. Okay, so Turk actually canceled right before we got there. Um, and he even texted back and said, cool, we're getting our bags together. And I wasn't that long getting fuel, so. Anyways, our next one is a Firebird's Grill to go for Jessica. And that door's locked. It's a heavy door. It smells so good. Oh, hello. Where do I go for to go? Um, oh, there you go. There's okay. dual purpose. Dual, either way. What's the name? It's got Jessica S. And she's got two things. Okay. And she wants like sides of mayo, ketchup, and Jessica P. There you go. Okay. Even better. Mayo and mustard and, and uh, ketchup sides. That's all the thing they ask for. Uh, just make sure because I'm driving a little bit of ways. Ooh, that door's heavy. Um, awesome. They had the little ketchup, mayo, and mustard packets in there. So, chicken sandwich and a burger. Medium rare. Going over to the hospital. Okay, so we're looking for labor and delivery. It says it's straight up here. I don't see medical clinics, medical offices, da, 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 cancer institution. Uh, I'm gonna walk in somewhere and just ask, hey, where's labor and delivery? I'm just gonna take it to where the actual pin takes me, which is straight up here to the right. And then I'm gonna have to, well, there's nobody in security. We're gonna roll through here. Here we go. All right, all right. Mess this lady over here. Excuse me. Excuse right here, sorry. Do you know where labor and delivery is? Labor and I'm, I'm delivering food for Uber Eats. Ooh, um, I'd like to, go back to, the to the front of this building? Yeah. Okay. Until you get the back to the okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, so she says, I think you need to go to the front of this building. Yeah, because we're kind of down here in delivery. Freight mode over here. <laughs> this is where the pin took us. Okay. Some wheelchairs right there. Maybe we need one. All right, let's go back around to the front. But thanks a lot for, for telling us we're in a completely wrong area. Look at that third gen Camaro. Oh, yeah. Still running. RS. Uh, very nice of Jessica to call me and say, hey, you're in the wrong area, which I kind of already knew. But she said, hey, there's a Dunkin' Donuts across the street. And so I typed in the Dunkin' Donuts. And what? Here's where we need to be. Lots of people here, so let's uh, find Jessica. But that was super awesome. She was like, I'm sorry, they always mess everybody up. Like, yeah, I tried to even look for labor and delivery on my uh, iPhone before I got here um, just to see if it would like show me the exact area. It did not. Okay, she's right there. I'm gonna get past all these cars. I see her waving at me. I said, White van with red wheels. She said, Okay. I checked to make sure they had mayo, mustard, and ketchup. Thank All you. right, Jessica, have a good one. Okay. You too. Very nice. And there's a third gen Camaro, and there is a non Mustang right there. That is a Mach E. No, 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 no. That's not a Mustang. Awesome. All right, that one is done. Delivered. Bam. And we're kind of off. I just wanted to get away from Woodruff. If you, oh man, there's surge everywhere. Um, I won't. Oh, more rides. Nine miles away. No thanks. 
But um, yeah, wood rippers just drive you crazy, guys. I sat in the roundabout inside of that area to get to that food, the Firebirds, for like five minutes before the light turned green to let us out of there. So all good. We'll kind of work over on the western side of Greenville now. And uh, yeah, delivered some 25 bucks. Going to Spartanburg, four miles away. Yikes. I don't really want to go to Spartanburg. It's like a 30 mile trip. Yeah, no thanks. That's way out there. For $25, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're going to completely stop. No California stop today. That's a South Carolina stop. And then we're going to California stop the next one. So at least it's one for two, right? One for two. Unless there's cars coming. Oh, there's cars coming. So we get two South Carolina stops. There we go. All right, let's go look for another one. Okay, so our first actual ride will be Danielle. She lives in these little townhomes right here. She's going like five miles. Let's see where she's going. Got the bus coming in. I think this is where we had that bus break down that one time. All right, 999999, phone number. She's over here somewhere. Uh, 235. We're just going to count. Oh, there she is. Bam. She's got the matching outfit. All right, open the door. Danielle? Yeah. How are we doing? Good. good. How are you doing? I'm all right, you going to so, uh, social? Yes. Sir. Man, I didn't record uh, Danielle. I wish I would have. She is amazing. She had two strokes. She had a stroke at the house, and her daughter had to call. And by the time she got to the uh, hospital, she had another stroke right when she got there. And her outlook on life is just uh, pretty good. Pretty good. And she's just really uh, grateful for everything she has. And um, that's just a cool talking with you. Danielle, blessings to you. And and she's uh she said that she couldn't walk her whole right side of her she couldn't write she couldn't talk um and she's coming back full and and she still has no strength in the right side of her body but you can't really tell and she's like i'm just doing what i'm trying to do and living my life and i'm rich in the lord and i'm rich in love with my kids and i said that is the way to think about it in today's life a lot of people were on our phones and we see other things and we see TikToks or whatever. I don't get on TikTok, but, but T Dubs does every now and then. And people will send me them and I'll have to like go on the internet to watch them. <laughs> We're picking up uh, Madison now. But um, yeah, just her her outlook was awesome. So Danielle, best of luck to you. Blessings to you. It was great coming across to you today. All right, Madison. I tell you what, guys, there is so much traffic out here in Greenville now. So many people. Uh, Danielle, we just talked with, uh, she moved her from Indianapolis nine years ago. Well, no, wait, no. 15 years ago she had a 16 year old and he was one so 15 years ago and she said what she's seen changes is crazy compared to well i've seen change in just the five years i've been here all right madison let's go madison and her friend were super cool um they came down here from iowa cedar rapids and the person that they were coming to like visit um broke up with their partner they said i don't know if it's a guy or girl or, but it was a girl that broke up with their partners maybe they were a girl i don't know either way um that girl's not or is not going to take them around now to like show them the town so i kind of gave them all the pointers i could on where to go and they were those they don't have any transportation or anything that girl is supposed to take them around so that's really unfortunate and uh i guess the partner cheated on her or wow whatever but that is unfortunate so hopefully they can get around i told them all the spots i would go we were getting binged like crazy for uber but nothing's close to us and it is surging, so yeah, it's surging right where I'm at, it's surging everywhere. So, we'll find something, and best of luck to Madison and her friend uh, that came down from Cedar Rapids. I told them, because they've, they've never even been to downtown Greenville, and they were staying closer, but they wanted to come over here and be closer to the airport, because they are pretty close to the airport, but they'll be here all weekend for their spring break, so. Praise for them, let's get something else, uh, hopefully going back downtown. Drink Whistle 100. Okay, we have David. David's going. Uh, I kind of, I don't like this uh, turn around in here. There's my blinker. You can go ahead and go. I'm going to wait out here because it is, I'm going to probably try to back into this area. There's not much turn around in the back. <laughs> Poorly designed uh, valet here, but let's see what David's at. Uh, it says he's further down past the Hyatt. So maybe he's down here. I hope he doesn't come out of the Hyatt and be like, hey man. So he's right down here at this next building. Maybe he's just, maybe he lives right here. What is it called? Weech? Weich? W-Y-C-H-E? So he's right here. So, yeah, I don't know. Put some hazards on him. Stay out of the way. We'll pull up in here. Maybe, I don't know. Where is that? But 
either. There we go. Standing right there. All right, he's walking around. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at. There's some kind of building here. All right, Tahoe, you can pull out and park him right here. Let's get David. He's going to the airport. David. Hello. Sorry, I thought you were at the Hyatt. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. You're not the first one to make that mistake. Yeah, I was like... All right, I dropped off David, super nice guy. He's a CFO, um, he lives out of Dallas, and he, uh, I was thinking about moving out here because he comes out every other week for like a full week. So, close out David, watch out for the Equinox, who's parking randomly crazy, so I'm sideways. <laughs> watch out, Equinox. Okay, uh, and then we'll go to our QT, pass the Q, go to the QT. That's the, the motto. It's been a, not a rough morning, but it's been kind of, a lot of traffic out here. I don't know if the spring break is doing it, but it's not been a great morning. So, um, hoping it picks up. There's a lot of surge everywhere on the map, but I hope it picks up better um, later on because it's not doing not a great morning. Past the CRZ. Let's go check out that queue. But yeah, all right. Surge like all around downtown and surge down by Woodruff, which I do not want to go to. I'm making it an effort to stay away from Woodruff Road today. If you don't know, what that is, it is uh, like one of the busiest roads all these streets on, or all these stores on it, so it's kind of like the plague. You just get stopped at stoplights over and over again, so. Oh, boy. And they're adding a new lane over here, not on this side, but the other side where you come into the airport. Um, they're adding, like, another right turn lane, which I probably is needed because how many people are moving here. Let's check out the queue. What do we got? It's completely empty, so we might get a ride pretty soon. Well, I know there's one car I see. I see his headlights on. If you know what the queue is, there's like a waiting list you have to sit in right here to the right for Ubers and Lyfts. Okay, wait, well, there's more cars. One, two, two Ubers, and I got Ubers doing a BMW. Two Ubers and two Lyfts, so we might get a ride. We'll go to QT, refresh, and see what we get. So we just had a $98 ride to Charlotte and a... Uh, $162 ride to Atlanta. Uh, the Atlanta one was XL, but they had a 4.7 rating, and it's just not worth it to go all the way to Atlanta, especially right now on a Friday, and then um, have to drive back because you can't work there. You can work in the same states, but you can't work um, out of state. So if I go to like Columbia or Augusta, somewhere down there, yeah, you can keep working, but um, if you go to Atlanta or Charlotte, you can't. You have to come back. So we'll see what we get. The airport we had a couple airport rides but uh nothing great so we'll see what pops up we waited over at the qt about 10 minutes and we got a lot of airport rides but they weren't worth it really little short ones and then we got an xl ride going back to greenville there's two ubers waiting all right and so uh, we got christina and it says top tipper like you i guess they tip well i don't know i've seen that a couple times now i hope it says that for mine because every time i take an uber when i personally call for one i tip tip very well I guess it's all those years that I bartended. That's how a lot of these Uber guys and bartenders and service industry people make their money. So at least tip a little bit. It'd be nice. All right, let's get Christina. XL. Okay, so it's got a bigger car, but there's just two of them. All right, here they come. Matching bags. Christina. And we're going back downtown. Awesome meeting them. Super nice people. Their son plays wide receiver for Furman. The spring game is tomorrow. We're back at the AC Hotel, and they stayed at the Grand Bohemian last time. But, um, yeah, they're going to the spring game tomorrow, and then they're flying out to Sicily because that's where they're from, and they're going to spend two weeks out there on vacation. So, awesome meeting you guys, Christina. I didn't catch his name, but his uh, he's got two sons that have gone to Furman now. We'll close out that ride, read them good, Let's see what else we got. Rainy day, but 57 degrees, not too cold. Let's go. At uh, Clemson. Mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering, nice. And you had a yellow cab that just played a game the whole time. Yeah, and I didn't want to. I, didn't, I told him at the end that this is your life, man. You're young. Yeah, don't, don't do this. Don't play video games the whole time. So. Well, I hope you stick, <laughs> time. I hope you stick you. to Uber. <laughs> yes, I will. Thank you so much. All right, much. thank you, man. Have a good trip to San Diego. Those thank cars you. are nice. Yeah. I like those new Genesis. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, those are cool cars. Super nice talking with you, Artie. Uh, he drive, just drove from Clemson back to his apartment. He's catching a flight back to San Diego where his family lives. 
Um, he's thinking about moving out here to Clemson also, or to Greenville, because uh, his wife likes San Diego, which I don't blame her. San Diego's pretty nice, so. All right, back to uh, skip to Q, go to QT. But I already have a safe flight. This flight was delayed, but looks like he's still gonna make his Atlanta connection, so it'll be good. All right, airport kind of day. And we barely made it to QT, and we got another ride. <clears throat> so we have Charles now. He's kind of going, uh, he's not going to Woodruff, not going to any busy places. He's going south towards my house. So I said, okay, we'll take that one. Kind of worked down by the house for a little bit, trying to stay down there. Back at the airport. This time, yeah, Charles, let's see where he's at. Not a lot of cars here, so he must have just got his bag or something. It's not busy. I don't know what that guy's doing, but there's not supposed to be any semi trucks down here. <laughs> he's supposed to be going by the airport. I drive a semi, uh, my other job. I don't know what he's doing down here. Whatever. Let's go. Charles is super nice. He just dropped somebody off at the airport, uh, like a friend of his, and then took another Uber back to uh, Sphinx for a shift. <clears throat> uh, Fountain Inn? Maybe we'll take that one. Oh, someone else took it. Oh, there's it. No. Oh, uh, we can take that one. No, we'll see another one. I think that, oh, I should have took that one. I think that was the same guy I took yesterday. 47 bucks. Yes, go online. 47 to Spartanburg. Eh, we don't want to fight. 85 is bad right now. Yeah, we don't we don't want to fight right there. No thanks. Uh, but yeah. Gotta get something. Taylor's, no, that's going back up 85 also. Man, it's busy right now. Alright, we'll keep looking. We'll find something. Man, I'll probably go in Sphinx and get a refill. Well, you want to stay behind that white line so these trucks can make it. Mm -hmm. And there you go, back it up. <laughs> Just don't hit my car now. <laughs> He's got it. He's got. Oh, there's a white car in front. I didn't even see there's another car in front of this car. I didn't see that. Yeah, I, I didn't see that white car. I was like, why is he taking that so? But yeah, he's doing right by him. Don't hit my truck. Man, all right. Let's go. All right. Dropped off Tiarka. T-Y-A-R-A-K-A. -A -A. Um, yeah, she works at the same uh, Yang Fang place that makes like door handles for the BMWs and they're building a whole other plant right across the street. But yeah, see how that, I thought it was just that black SUV in front of me, but there was that white car in front of that car. And that is the reason that you stay behind those white lines because that guy had to hit the whole shoulder over there to get his trailer around. Red Classic, the Coca-Cola truck. So yeah, all right. Well, T-Dubs is shopping for our friend we have a great friend that um is having a birthday surprise today we're gonna go meet him for their um little early dinner real quick i'm gonna turn off my clock for uber because you only have 12 hours and i'm down whoop i just said just ask me something there we go to scroll to the very bottom to see your time i have seven hours and one minute left that i can drive for uber so i'm gonna shut it down and probably turn it back on after this little early dinner because it's uh, 5.30. Um, and then I can work later into the Friday night where the rides are pretty consistent on the weekend, especially when it's raining. But before we meet T-Dubs, I did a quick stop for some wiper blades because I can't see that way. It's a 28 inch on one side and 20 inch on the passenger side. So we'll place those real quick and then um, go meet T-Dubs. You wore green. Oh, I did not. But man, the Sherby's. You say what? Oh. Okay, got a little Irish going on. Oh, yes. Happy birthday! What's up, Gary? Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you! Woo! Well, that was great seeing one of uh, T Dub's friends from high school and, and uh, have her birthday. It was a surprise party, so that was awesome. Uh, do you see how they put green lights all over everywhere? That's pretty cool. This is downtown Fountain Inn, and we are picking up Mary, so we're taking her downtown. We're gonna pull in this little corridor right here, and looks like they're at this brewery right here. But yeah, that was really cool to see uh, her. We didn't know anybody else there, but we made some friends, and happy birthday. Oh, and let's pick up Mary. A good time though. Oh yeah, yeah it's good. nice on there. You ever been in there? Yeah, it's a good little brewery or a little uh, craft house. They have all the beers there. Yeah, more in. Yeah, good times. People are nice in there. Yeah, well, that was nice of her to get you a ride home. Oh yeah, yeah. they're my friends. Good, 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 good. 
We'll get you back downtown. Yeah. Okay, we're back at it after the birthday, and it is pretty uh, St. Patty's day -ish out here. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, let's go pick up Kadeja. Sorry, I didn't want to mess with the police officers Justin. behind me. Justin. Hey, how are you? Uh, how you doing? How's your uh, St. Patty? No, my pants are too fucking tight for you to be Saint, coming after me. St. Patty, here we go. <laughs> There you go. Okay, I like this. Your hair's gonna stick out. The there you go. Okay. Okay, we dropped those ladies off, and now we're picking up somebody else. Let's go right here so they can get to us easy. All right, what we got here? What are we doing? Being crazy? Yes. I love it. Uh, we gotta pull these up. We got more people. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Justin. Uh, Woo! John, are you walking around? <laughs> oh, you're just pushing. I uh, should push this. Push this right here. All right. Uh, now pull it back. There you go. You can go further with this one right here. Keep there pulling back. There you go. Okay, so I have a question, driver. Yes, ma'am. Do you have kids? I got three of them. How many? Three. And this car, is this clean? Okay, so we just dropped off Jill and her friends, and uh, they were a riot. Uh, now we're picking up uh, Shelton, and he's going back downtown. St. Patty's Day is definitely a busy one. Rain has stopped, it's 57 degrees, and Shelton is an Uber X. The last two rides have been XL. Um, yeah, let's see what we got for Shelton. Let's see where he's going. Tip it back, okay. All right, tip it back. Let's see what we got. Shelton. I'm just waiting on my wife. No worries, man. Oh, right, they were fun. They were just a couple. Put their got their kid at babysitter and uh, coming out for St. Patty's, but they haven't been out in a long time. So but they're like, "Where should we go?" I'm like, "I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't go out that much either." So we'll go. We're picking up Hayden now, and he's over here by the uh, up on the roof. So, all oh, right, definitely busy out here though, for sure. Do, 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 do. Okay, now Sheldon, he looks like his pin's right here. So maybe I think he's standing over there. I see a girl and a guy. All right, that's them. Let's do it. Or, sorry, Hayden. Sheldon was the last guy. All right, and they're going up to North Point. Justin. How are you doing? Yep. You're going to North Point, right? Yes, sir. All right. Oh, thank you so much no for worries, the ride. No worries. Try to get around this guy. <laughs> He's waiting for you guys. Right. Love a good roundabout. Heck yeah. Where'd you guys eat at? Uh, we went to Lazy Goat and then we hit that jazz bar right there for the first time. I've never been there. It's so uh, cool. It's, it's incredible. Like right behind where you just came out? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh, okay. yeah. They got. Uh... <laughs> I tell you what, St. Patty's Day is crazy. But uh, they were a nice couple. Went to a jazz bar right there that I didn't even know existed. So I'll have to check it out. I would. T dubs, check it out. But um, we're picking up Neil now. Just taking these little one mile rides for eight dollars and trying to keep stacking them up. I have a quota I want to reach tonight, and then I'll go home. Uh, it is about midnight now, and still crazy out here. Well, it's about twelve thirty, so we'll see. I'll probably go till two and we'll call it night. But Neil has not shown up yet. Well, he's taking his time coming down. We'll see. A little bling bling on the Mustang. Okay. Yeah, but Neil's supposed to be over here somewhere. We shall see. Well, I don't think that's a good sign. But you never know. We have Crystal now <clears throat> from Bond, which is actually where T-Dubs and I went before. It's a pretty cool spot. 
All righty. I hope everyone's okay, whatever's going on down there. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so they've been married 22 years. Hilarious people. I hope T-Dubs and I are like them. And uh, <laughs> he said, four tequila shots, we're doing this. And she said, well, I've had five. So, But appreciate you, man. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you. He's like, I got a couple more of these. Appreciate you, man. That place for almost all of our fuel reviews so far. Let's keep back to these rides. Okay, well, I just took another ride, but I checked the back of the truck, and there's a phone back there. So it's my buddies that gave me that $100 tip. Right. So he left it in there. It was like 13 minutes ago. I dropped him. I had a ball cap on. Gotcha. Him and his girl with the black top. They're staying here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her name's Crystal, but that's his phone. Yes, sir. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Awesome. He'll get it to him. He probably knows exactly what room they're in or whatever, but he remembers them. So cool. Let's keep doing this. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is crazy out here. So I'm just trying to stay two miles from downtown, not go too far off. And I'll do this for another hour. Uh, that was four miles away. And then um, just call it quits. But that was super nice. Of uh, I didn't catch his name. Her name is Crystal, but appreciate you, man, for the $100 tip in cash. That's awesome. It wasn't a fuel tank. For your next uh, so we got Neil, white man, red wings. Uh, there you go, just you two. Get it, right? Yes. Yes. Let's go. That's funny because that was Neil, and he actually had a ride with us earlier, and uh, he just sent us a five dollar tip. Appreciate it, man. So we said thank you to him. You can like send thanks for tips, but he uh, never showed up last time, so I just canceled it and kept moving on. But um, this time he did, and he kept talking about Taco Bell. He's like, let's go Taco Bell. I'm like. Taco Bell's the opposite direction, sir, so he lives at these cool lofts called Woodside, so plenty of rides. Oh my goodness. It's like non-stop. Rides, rides, rides. So, get back towards downtown and see what we got. Alright, this is Megan? Yeah. Well, that was a fun ride. A couple of, well, three girls going back to their cars. And now we're right back where we started. <laughs> Picking up Jake this time. Let's see where Jake's at. We'll go past this car. And uh, yeah, Soli Steamer. So this place is open late. And they make some really good uh, bagel sandwiches. T-Dubs loves them. So let's pick up Jake. Let's see what's going on. Is it for? Jake. Yep. There you go. Just you by yourself? No, we got one more. All right, one more. All right. No words. Call Jake. Call Jake. And for the third time we ended up at Sully Steamers, we're taking, uh, hey there. how you doing? We got uh, Melody? Yes. All right. And that ride actually took us back home uh, last night, so we cut it down. I was tired, so I didn't edit or do anything, but this is today's video. You'll see me in this outfit today, but God bless you guys. St. Patty's Day was a riot. It was awesome to be able to stop and see that um, friends of ours and to go for, and Garrett for the birthday. Love you guys. And um, yeah, it was cool. A little bit of St. Patty's interaction made some good money and we're gonna keep going again today which is saturday but on that note i'll end up end this video get it loaded for you guys god bless you and we'll see you on the next one